Making a smart lock system can be achieved using different techniques. In this development, I'm using a biometric fingerprint sensor and a keypad password module for an additional security protocol, which most recent phones utilizes. In this video, I will show you how I assemble this system ranging from the circuit design down to the programming using Arduino. Starting off this project, I considered several protocols which could be used for security systems. I looked at the security protocols which smartphone uses and I decided to build this project using the same topology. The heart of this project is the biometric sensor and the keypad module, which are integrated to work together and having the biometrics fingerprint sensor as the primary security protocol that allows you to assess the password. I integrated these two modules using the Arduino Uno board, which I programmed to open the door and lock it using the solenoid lock device. I have documented the detailed design information which contains the block diagram, the schematic diagram and the code. And like always, I attach comments on the code so you can grasp what each line of code does. All these materials I will share with you at the end of the video, so stay tuned as I guide you through the building process. I started off by assembling the project first on the breadboard. Using the inbuilt LED on the Arduino pin 13, I use it to represent the solenoid lock. Since the lock is rated 12 volts and the power from the Arduino 5 volt power source can't independently power the lock, I had to use an indicator for the demonstration, though I will still show you how to trigger the lock using Arduino. Prior to this assembly, I've already stored some prints of my fingers in the biometric sensor. The biometric sensor can store about 127 different prints and that makes it easy to have multi-users of the system. Placing the finger which the print is already saved, the system recognizes it and instantly initializes the password. Once you have the correct password, the system instantly opens the lock for 5 seconds and we have the LED indicate that. I made it this way so that every user will have a 5 seconds interval to push the door open and close it. You can easily adjust yours on the code. Now, I tried again using another registered finger, but this time I decided to use the wrong code. The system figured out the wrong code and didn't open the door, rather it returned to the initial state. With this approach, every user of the system must first have their fingerprint recorded and also know the password. Having only one protocol for the unlock of this system, a user won't be granted access until you have both the password and the biometrics. To add a new user, I made the system flexible so that only fully registered personnel can do that and that will require let's say the manager biometrics and password. For the scope of this project, I used the password code of 1234 for every user but you can always change yours through the code. To add a new finger or a user, press the button A to open the enrollment mode. With the correct password, you can now access it further. Placing a new finger, the system captures the image, validates it and stores it. The process is done again, which confirms the print. Checking the new registered finger, we have the system recognized it and opens the door once the password is correct. This time, I tried to use an unregistered finger or let's say an intruder and the system figured it out and denied access. Access was actually given when I used the right finger. The last feature I added to this system is the bypass. And by simply pressing the B button, the system allows one to only use the password to open the door. I can as well remove it as it changes the order of the security protocol of this system and this can be achieved by simply adjusting the code. 
Now, let's get into assembling the system. The remaining components were gathered as I was ready to solder them together. Starting off with the IC socket, I soldered it in place and the next is the discrete electronics components. Resistors, transistors and the pin socket were soldered in place as I have the board looking like this. The LCD was also soldered in place as I connected it to the board using cable wires. Having completed this part, I tested the complete soldering as I have it work just fine as expected. The fingerprint sensor, the lock and the LED indicators were put in place as expected and they were working absolutely fine when tested. Next is the casing and I'm using a 6x6 adaptable bus for that. Measuring all the dimensions of the external components, I duly noted them as the system was completely packaged and this is exactly how it looks like after that. I tested the system and the result was absolutely amazing. Like I earlier promised, the block diagram, schematic diagram and also the sketch can be assessed as I've dropped the link on the video description below, so check it out. I have published other cool projects which we are proposed by our followers on our Facebook page. Also check the description to join our Facebook community. I will appreciate your feedback on this project via the comment section as I will read all of them. One more thing I would like you to do is to click the subscribe button and the little bell icon for notification once I make upload on the next project. Thank you so much. I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.